Right, it's time for a chat and a bit of an update. And uh, as ever with things right now on this channel, it's all positive news. We've a lot going on and I want to give you a bit of an update and keep you all in the loop. As the title suggests, we've got a new sponsor that I will tell you about very soon. I'll tell you who they are and I'll tell you how they've got involved and uh, what it allows the channel to do. I'm going to announce two winners of, uh, of our giveaways that we've done and the Average Golfers Club. We've got a winner, somebody's going to win a Motor Caddy S1 and somebody is going to win a sim 2 driver and we'll do those draws live on the channel right now uh, i will also tell you about some away days we've got planned some potential trips to ireland and scotland that you could all be involved in and finally i'll be giving you some updates on the average golfers club itself and members of the average golfers club make sure you stick around to the end because there's some important news that i have got to tell you about uh, so don't go anywhere but i'm going to start off with our uh, wheel of fortune and we're going to find out two winners so i'm going to literally we'll do this uh if i can just reach down to my computer we'll spin this wheel and find out so the first draw is going to be for the driver all right here we go this is quite exciting our winner is oh you'd be gutted if you're next door to him wouldn't you, you can probably see it it's gareth wright <laughs> So Gareth, you have won a, uh, a Sim 2 driver. Um, you can come up to Chester and to Four Golf and get custom fit for it. I've uh, obviously no ideas to uh, where you live, so whether that's possible, I don't know. If not, we'll be in touch and we'll get your specs sent over and get that into the post very, very shortly. And the next one, uh, we'll do the, uh, so we've got a Motor Caddy S1. Members of the club, you'll know if you were entered into both or, or just the one based on when you joined. But I will uh, press play again, and uh, all your names are still back in that hat. Good luck, everyone. Right, here we go. Again, if I was reading these and my name's next door to either winner. We've stopped. Jordan Davis has won a Motor Caddy S1. So, once again, Jordan, congratulations. Uh, they were two really, really great prizes. Um, and, uh, like I said, everybody who got involved for... As little as just a quick reminder on that, it was four ninety nine to be a member of the Average Golfers Club, and there's so many other things uh, that uh, you're entitled to. But just that alone, the chance to win those prizes is incredible. And I might as well mention now that next week's prize is going to be for next month's prize. Sorry, is going to be for a Cobra Rad driver. So uh, if you're not a member and stick around till the end, I'll give you a bit more detail on how you can get involved. But uh, there's been some great things going on in terms of that Average Golfers Club and lots more to come right that's done the excitement is over but um i want to talk about this uh, this sponsor um it's something that uh, to be honest with you that they've been involved with the channel before and uh a couple of months ago uh, i reached out to a couple of uh, a couple of brands uh, to see if they wanted to get involved this year mainly in uh, in some general uh, content that i was looking to produce and i know that uh our sponsor is Seed Golf. Seed are the manufacturers uh, of golf balls based over in Ireland. Um, like I said, they've been um, supporters of the channel in the past and uh, have been a long user of their golf ball. Uh, their products are superb, but uh, it's just very generous of them to get involved and support the channel in the way they're going to this year. So basically, um, the people at Seed were very impressed with the stuff that we did last year in terms of a lot of the travel content. Um, and we're going to do sort of similar things. I'm not going to give the full reveal of what we're doing because it's another story. And believe me, it's one that I can't wait to share with you. And it's something really, really exciting. Um, the full extent of what we're doing but it is based around travel content um, it will be will be over in Ireland amongst other places this year um, and Seed have stepped up to the plate and they've, they've, they're going to help us out it's as simple as that the kind of things that uh, we've got planned and that we're going to do we could not do that without the support of Seed so I'm massively grateful to them um, and again we always do that same thing is massively grateful to them but it's, just, it's also massively grateful to you for watching it's that big massive loop that sort of allows us to do like i said what we have planned for this year and it's been a it's been a load of it's been crap hasn't it this year in terms of the, the covid thing and all that and 
I don't want to sit here and gloat about all the magical things we're going to be doing this year, but it's, it's for, for us anyway, at least on a personal level, it's a, it's a great piece of news having been, uh, like I said, pretty garbage for the last 12 months. What we're going to end up doing from sort of April, uh, mid-April onwards will be really good. So massive thanks to Seed, and I will do another video, like I said, probably in a couple of weeks' time when I'm in a better position to give you more detail on exactly what we have planned. And you can see from the smirk on my face, uh, I'm pretty excited about it and it should be uh, pretty decent. So that's that. Next bit of news is this. Um, we've been talking to a couple of um, tour operators. Um, and when I say tour operators, I'm looking at maybe Scotland and Ireland as potentially putting on some organized trips that we all go on together. So there'll be fairly smallish groups uh, in terms of being able to manage this thing. But uh, it was mentioned by a lot of, uh, of the members of the uh, Average Golfers Club uh, put forward ideas and suggested that maybe we look at getting these uh, sort of get togethers put on. And I think it's a great idea. Uh, so the potential is, is twofold, is we, uh, we do some sort of three or four day trips with a, a, with a, a fairly, uh, with a group. And potentially we just do some single golf days. So we know we've got, and again, I'll confirm it hopefully very shortly, we should have um, the average golfer competition that we hold in Conway each year. It'll be something similar to that in terms of the days that we'll do perhaps uh, ar around the country. Uh, but the trips, like I said, perhaps looking at doing two this year, one in Scotland and one in Ireland. So what I would like to do is that um, it's going to be the members of the Average Golfers Club will get the sort of first refusal. Um, so I would suggest, again, get yourself over and have a look at that. Uh, but if you are interested, please uh, sort of stick a mention down in the comments below. If you think it's a good idea, if you think it's something that you might get involved in, uh, let me know. And uh, the more sort of feedback we get, and again, Average Golf Club members will be getting their sort of weekly newsletter and a chance to respond. Uh, but let me know what you think. I think it's a potential good way of everybody getting together probably bring the camera along and uh, film a lot of it as well but uh, that's the plan for probably sort of September time this year I'm gonna have to glance down because um, I've got that much to mention I might forget it right that's the update so far last thing is for the average golfers club and I suppose the members of that club there's just a couple of things that I need to uh, bring to your attention um, the first one is I just want to make sure that everybody is getting the weekly newsletter and judging by what we've got in terms of what we see and how many emails have been opened, it seems really positive. But there have been a couple of people who suggested they hadn't seen anything and then found out it had gone to their spam. So just check in junk and spam mail that there's nothing in there because we are sending something out every Friday. So if you're not getting that, then it's probably because it's gone directly into your uh, spam or junk email. So just check that out. The second thing I'd like you to, uh, like to ask is that we've got, as you know, you're all getting a, you're sort of joining a gift, whatever you want to call it, uh, which was really nice. And uh, they're about two weeks away. Uh, we did say they'd be six weeks from when we sort of started this club. So it should take us into about mid-April. Um, but we've got to send all them out and we've got nobody's address. So if you go into the, um, what is it, top right of your, um, of the, of your uh, the, on the website, you can get into your account and uh, you can see there, you hit the drop down and you can enter your address details. And that just allows us to uh, get this process up and running as soon as they arrive and get those bits out to you. Um, next point to mention is thanks for the people that have gone involved. We've been doing a, uh, for those of you again who are not members, we've been doing something whereby we asked uh, golfers to get in touch and give us their what's in the bag, give us their kind of best golfing experience, a bit of a user profile if you like that we're looking to publish somebody every week in the newsletter. It's great to see how many of you got involved. We've got already probably, I don't know, eight to 10 weeks worth, I suppose, uh, already in. But please keep sending your information in and we'll keep publishing those. Um, and then the last thing, I couldn't even read my own writing then, I had to pause for a little bit, is um, there's a potential idea to expand that user profile to allow you to be contactable by fellow members. Uh, to arrange a game of golf and that would obviously be dependent on where you live and all the rest of it but that's a potential idea that we're looking into at the moment uh, which like I said uh, just allows for the sort of whole sort of club membership idea to just develop that one step further and you be able to sort of engage with fellow members based on where they are geographically and arrange to meet up and have a social game of golf that's a potential plan for the future that's it as you can see I'm out of breath um, like I said at the beginning, it's all very much good news. Congrats to our winners. 
Um, please go and have a look and check out the Average Golfers Club for those of you who are not. It's incredible the amount of people have got involved, but it's also full of like positivity and what we're trying to do there. And I can't tell you everything of this video going forever, but there is a lot happening that hopefully makes that club better and better as we move forward. Um, and finally, that massive thank you to Seed Golf. Make sure you go and check out them. I will be, I will be unashamedly pushing their product. I don't see why we shouldn't be looking to support them the way they have done us either. So uh, make sure you go and check out Seed's website and get yourself some golf balls on order now that majority of fairways are back open. Um, and that's it. Comments down below. Hit that like button. Um, and I will see you all very soon with more updates.